Welcome back to the Daily Vault Run. Today is September 4th, 2024, and my apologies in advance for any weirdness as my throat is behaving strangely today. Let's take a look at what we have here. The iron, I had to mine a little bit of iron, but that wasn't too bad. The ink, I just had to go over yonder and kill some squids. Um, the dirt, trivial, seeds. Seeds aren't usually bad, but there were like 62, and I did not have 62 seeds to begin with. I had something like 30 just hanging around the base. So I dropped those off and then I had to spend just a little bit getting, you know, the other 32 seeds that I needed. But we got there in the end. Now, yesterday, during some build phase recording, I also elected to get this hunter skill so we can start working on that. And I also really wanted to get Hunter's Instinct because, I mean, <laughs> the name of the game is Killing Mobs. So, unfortunately, it requires two skill points and we don't have that. Now, the eagle-eyed among you have noticed that my vault level has gone up since last you watched, probably. And that's because I also consumed some hamburger. And, ah, yes, let's get rid of these chromatic ingots because I don't need them right this second. I think I've been putting them in here. Yes. Okay, any more checks? Yes, we put the shulker box in here, and I believe that's everything. Away we go. Ooh, interesting aesthetic. Horde Elixir Vault. Ooh, item quantity. Great, that's lovely. All right, customary stealing of the braziers. Oh, yes, and I've also increased my pouch into the double pouch from yesterday's run. And, uh, well, <laughs> as it turns out that as far as skipping mods goes, uh, I'm still eventually going to need to unlock this to get to backpacks and the good, good stuff that's that direction. So, I haven't really skipped the mods. I've just postponed them, kicked them down the road. And moreover, if I want to automate or, you know, do auto crafting down the road, I'm also going to have to unlock that anyway, because it requires literally every mod in the game to be unlocked. Anyway, let's let's just get started. Oh, shoot. Um, not that. There we go. Boy, I knew I was forgetting something during my blathering, and sure I did. Alright, let's see. What do we have here? This is an elixir vault, but I'm still going to mark the exit just in case. Now, I'd be shocked if I managed to hit anything, but... I hit the wrong thing. Alright, let's see if there's a way to get up there. Ah, yes. Now, there's a lot of chromatic wood in the walls, so I might potentially take some of that. It could be really good if I decide to make a roof out of snow. Um, yeah, alright, I will start taking some of this too. Because we have the increased storage capacity now, I can afford to take more decorative blocks. Granted, time-wise, time is going to be the big thing. And I don't want to be using my hunter skill in the very first room, just because it's the very first room. I do want to use it in the first, you know, like five minutes or whatever, so that way we can get three uses out of it, this vault. Oh, goodness gracious me. You know what? I am starting to think that, yes, the... The XP increase yesterday did, in fact help out with the elixir vault because it seems just so much slower today and I don't think that's just a function of me blathering I mean it's partially a function of me blathering but I don't think it's exclusively because I'm talking no yeah I definitely think there's a correlation between experience boosts and vault experience boosts Oh, wait. 
Okay, I don't think this is a proper mining room because I didn't see anything upstairs, but there are two mining POIs, which is interesting. I didn't know you could, well, no, I did know you could. It's just less likely. And if memory serves, I have elected to put the ores themselves into my storage because that's how I'm holding them now. My pouch, that is. I am liking... I don't like that. I accidentally did that by mistake. But I'm liking... the fact that it's giving me so many opals this time around, because that's kind of what I need to get into Kajarian. I realized I had exactly enough materials... Oh, I missed one. I had exactly enough materials for... Oh, maybe this is a mining room. There's no way there are three mining points of interest, and this isn't a mining room. Oh, or this could just be a fake point of interest. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Alright, what I want to try and do is immediately run into this next room, Pop Hunter, and then that way I theoretically have at least one more use in the vault. I think those might be living chests. Those are either living or they're gilded. And those are probably ornate down there. Okay, these are wooden. Oh, right. Okay, you're a boss mark. There we go. Knowing when to switch single target versus multi. Oh, yeah. I also put... Uh, yeah, what's the... What's the I put efficiency. That's the one. I put efficiency on this. Oh, okay. These are gilded chests. Well, that's okay because as we're about to see, having the efficiency should make acquiring items inside them much easier. Yeah, that's better. That's more like it. you love to see it. Now, I'm pretty sure there are four gilded chests in this general area. Yeah, there is. Okay. Very good. Let's see. Oh, yeah, and we're doing pretty good in terms of storage, too, I think. I'd like to think. Oh, treasure room. Or store, whatever. Um, okay, vault catalysts. I'll probably buy those, despite not knowing what they do just yet. I'm still liking my chest piece well enough, so we are just going to pick these up. Now, I do have a vague appreciation for what they do, I just don't know what those specific ones do. Ah, okay, so Azalea Logs are green? I don't know if I'm going to be able to make that work in any capacity. Um, okay, where did I enter from? Where did I enter from? Oh, heck no, please! Please don't tell me I messed up that badly. I messed up that badly. All right, well, that's bad. I mean, this is an elixir vault, so theoretically, as long as I'm fast, I can find an exit and not even worry about that. Okay, so I know for a fact, let's just do this. This is, unfortunately, the worst-case scenario. If I had some sausage and cheese, it would be the worst-case scenario. <laughs> uh, the worst-case, yeah, okay, okay, right, yep, yep, yep. And even more gross about this is once I do find where I was supposed to go, I'm going to think that I've already been in those rooms and I haven't. I'm starting to understand why people still unlock the vault compass, even though you can very easily breadcrumb. Ooh, 
Okay, I think I've unintentionally picked the three rooms that I didn't come from just there, uh, because I would have definitely remembered if there was a living chest. Oh, yep, I'm definitely spawning in enemies. Okay, I know I can hear you. And there's more down below, which is also interesting. Ooh, mining point of interest. I love to see it. Okay, now I'm feeling just a little more comfortable with where we are on Elixir 2 time proportion. Like, don't get me wrong, I still have to keep focusing, but we are getting places. Really? Hacking candles are gonna stop me from moving around? Ooh. throw out the dirt, because obviously I don't need that. I'm once again asking the game to give me some red blossom leaves, or whatever they're called. Fiery blossom leaves. Because I think I have one of each of the other types. I went down. Yep, okay. Yeah, okay, we're not doing terribly on time. I could have sworn, though, that there was another cagey cage thing up this way. Maybe a way up to the top. Okay, yeah, over there. I don't know how I'm going to get there from here, so I think I'm just going to ignore it. I am going to kill this spider, though, because it's when you least expect it that the spider from the random direction gets you. Now, because I know that I messed up, and because I know that theoretically that's the way out, I am just going to check the other three surrounding rooms and then backtrack through here. Or the other two surrounding rooms, yes. And moreover, I still haven't found a lodestone, so... We need to get one of those before we can actually consider completing this dungeon. Oh yeah, so the other 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 thing is that I also upgraded my stack upgrade. So that means we can hold like four times the inventory or something like that. Ooh, ow. How many more enemies are coming from? Yeah, okay, there we go. I think now I've got them all and I can safely mine this. Sheesh. Okay. Um... Okay, there's no easy way over there, unfortunately. I do have dash, but that won't get me there.
Now, what's the easiest way to go downstairs? Oh, yep, yeah, okay, spotted an elixir. So I think we're going to just treat this as the new exit. Uh, you know what? Note blocks could be useful for something. I will take those. Thank you. Get rid of the cobblestone vault moss, though. That's potentially a good thing to have, just decoratively speaking. Actually, I'm not even sure that's a decorative thing, or if that's one of those items that we use to craft into other stuff. Okay, so this is... Oh, hey! This is why we turn around sometimes. Yes, thank you. More vault catalysts. I'll probably end up taking that. Yeah. Yeah, we will. Okay. Boop. Oh, I don't have enough gold, huh? No, I don't have enough gold. And it, I don't know what the exchange rate is, but unfortunately, we're just going to have to keep on moving. That is sad. But maybe I'll get more gold in the dungeon vault. What, whatever words. Okay. So I'm going to put this here to point to the exit, and we're now going to treat this as the exit room. For now, anyway. I don't think... We, yeah, we haven't been here. Or if we have, we haven't been particularly thorough about it. of that. Okay, I'm just out of range of the poison clouds here, but only just. Come on, come on, there we go, thank you. I just needed that to die down. Boop. Oh, oh yeah, the silver, right, yes, excellent. Now, I would like to be able to hold two bounties simultaneously, so I might potentially invest in that expertise but unless I increase the level cap for more than 100, or to more than 100, then I'm going to have to be really sparing with how I allocate my points, and I don't know if that's something that I want to do in the long run. More rewards is always good, though, so... Is that it on this half of the room? Ah, okay, so there's more over there. Okay, and I can get there from somewhere else. That makes sense. Oh, yeah, nine minutes left on the clock. I'm feeling good about the elixir status. On the other hand, accidentally getting killed by mobs is still very much a possibility. Now, the one problem with haste is that I do sometimes mine the thing behind the thing I actually wanted. Oh, bad. That's bad. Oh, and you're riding a chicken. No. Okay. Oh, yep. Okay, is that it? I was expecting more. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that just drops down onto the place that I'd already come up from, so... I think I can pop down and take a look at the downstairs. Oh, consume a lodestone. Okay, we've completed the objective, at least. That's something. I'm hoping to go into at least one more room, and then we can potentially pop the, um, the Hunter's Mark. I see a door over there. If that's a dungeon, that could be our last thing, but I don't think I'm ready for a dungeon at this particular level. Oh boy. What are you? 
What the heck are you? Oh, okay, it's not a dungeon. It is yet another store. Okay, with the frequency I'm coming across stores, I'm starting to think that, yes, I should absolutely take the store uh, specialization or whatever. And chaotic vault rock? Huh. Okay. Boy, if I'd gotten that first instead of the catalysts, I absolutely would have bought that. I think I could have just barely afforded it. If I'd gone for that instead, you know? Okay, I think this will take me up and out. Oh. Whoa! Okay. Is it just that the fighter... Yeah, I think the fighter just has different vault equips on. Ow! How dare you not instantly die? <laughs> Come on. Poison Cloud, go away, please. Go away, please. Um, I don't think I can do warning to chests. Yeah, there we go. So I'm just gonna have to do it the old-fashioned way. Um, okay, I'm gonna have to put some of this away. Uh, like this, 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 these things. That, this, this, that. And I could have sworn I had enough room for some of this stuff in the pouch, but I guess not. Oh. Wait, do I have Ornate on my tool? No, I don't. So, how was I able to mine that? I guess just because it was trapped? On the plus side, the old method still works, so that's all I care about. Um... Oh, this is where you spawn. There must be, like, a hidden room back here. There is, like, a hidden room back here. Ugh, the poison, the poison is killing me! I mean, not literally, but it's just... The time, I feel like I should potentially just turn around and not worry about it. I'm once again saying that coin affinity is amazing. Nope. Come on. Um, okay. I think that's it. And I do think, unfortunately, I need to start thinking about getting back to the Lodestone. I think. Never know what's actually going to be inside these things, so you might as well break them anyway. Okay, so that way towards the exit. I think we've already been up. I think I can afford to do one more room, and because I have the Hunter's Mark, like, off cooldown, I absolutely should do one more room. Oh. Well, okay, or this can just be my exit room. Living chest here. Oh, bunch of living chests here. That's great, I'm gonna prioritize those. Should be living. Oh, mining point of interest. I 
Thank you for more opal. Oh, that was bad. Well, at least I landed that. Oh. Oh, that's a dungeon. Well, impossible difficulty. Yeah, sure. Like, I'm going to be able to do that in time. No. Oh, no. You've got to be kidding me. Why are you like this? I really need more trap reduction. I also need to remember that I have access to heal. Okay. Yep. And I think at this point it's just play it safe, get back to the lodestone. You know what? Javelin up there real quick. Why am I so bad at the javelin? <laughs> like, that doesn't make a lick of sense. Okay. Clear out this point of interest here. Oh boy. Five thousand XP, thirty-six hundred of the, or thirty-six thousand, or roughly half of that, is from the objective. Of course, it is, and we just got a lot from mobs killed, followed by chests and then mined blocks. Uh, horde modifier was great for items. I'm guessing that's potentially, like, if there's more elixir per item, then that might be how we got our clear. Because we mined 37 wooden chests, 7 living, that was great for the XP, or the knowledge, essence. 10 gilded and 3 ornate, even though one ended up being a trap, I think. And then we got a whole bunch of ores. I'm really appreciative of that black opal ore since we're trying to get into Cagerium. And I'm jumping straight to the hostile mob chests, or cages. 50 slime killed. I'm guessing the uh, tier... Three zombie is the most XP dense at 256. Uh, yeah, that seems about right. And the chicken. Why is it always the chicken? All right, and we actually had enough inventory space to just put <gasps> two mystery eggs. That's fantastic. I mean, uh, you know what? I might even just use them as passive moms because we have the three chief. I'll roll on at least one of these as a passive mob instead of a hostile mob. I think I might have enough room in here to be able to just take this stuff out. But if not, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to turn off my magnet real quick, throw this stuff into the pit. And now we definitely have enough room to be able to roll on stuff. Boop. All right, as usual, the thing is giving me a fundamental focus, a waxing focus, that's new. Um, <laughs> and we also got this chest plate and a perfect jewel that's pretty nice. That might have already been in my inventory, but for size 33, that's some pretty good modifiers on it. That means I could totally start with a shovel as a tool and then make it into a Paxel just using this. Um... <laughs> Oh yeah, we completed the bounty too. Might as well claim the reward on that. Let's see what we have for new bounties. I don't like any of these. I do like the Painite gem, though. Um, What are you? Mystery box. Contains random goodies. That's potentially really good, especially because it comes with the 14 steel. I'm actually going to leave that one for that reason and re-roll the second one. Rewards rare. Hmm. But I feel like this is better, right? I mean, granted, four Kiwis is pretty nice, but 
minus 10% max health. That's not the best thing ever. I'm blathering. I think I'm just gonna... Well, hmm. Yeah, we'll do that. That's nice. Oh, wow. We went up three levels, I think. Yeah, we went up three levels. That's pretty insane. So let us take a look at what we got. And then I might do some skill stuff here at the end. Uh, I like the increased range and velocity. The thing that I don't like about the increased range, however, is that it means it's going to be harder for me to get rid of stuff that I don't want. And the one that I have equipped has more repair on it, too. I do like the soul bound of the second one. But, yeah, honestly, the one on the left also has more prefixes. So, I mean, it just has prefixes for the first. Yeah. Um, so, I think this magnet is a bust. These leggings... Slightly more armor... No ability power, so that's already not as good. The thing it has going for it is the health. The item rarity is pretty dang close. But unfortunately, I think I want to keep with the epic ones. And finally, the chest plate. Item rarity, fairly close. It does have additional mana regen, which is pretty rad. And significantly more ability power and armor, which is great. And health, and more increased attack damage for an 8% item rarity drop, I think we might actually go for that. I mean, of course, I'll transmog it first and enchant it and all that jazz, but I think we're going to go with the new chest plate. Yes. And then, finally, we'll just wrap it up. My apologies if you can hear the dog. But we're just going to wrap it up by learning Hunter's Instinct right off the bat, because that's something that I want. And then, I think we'll also upgrade the Javelin... Because of the cooldown, yes. Specifically because we're using this as a reconnaissance tool, I think that six second cooldown is going to be great. And because we also have ethereal, I don't care about the extra mana cost, not really. I think we have an expertise point, yes. Which I kind of want to put into... I don't know, like right now I'm going for Trinketer, but... On the other hand, we've also just seen how useful the bartering would have been in that dungeon, so I'm going to put a point in that, too, because I keep getting shops. And I'm guessing there's a way that I could totally reset this if I absolutely want or need to, but I can worry about that at a later point in time. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like, subscribe, and click that bell to be notified. And as always, I'm looking forward to your feedback in the comments below. And with that, I will catch you... Home of Lipside. Thanks for watching, everybody.